everybody, this is Gerard Gelbourg. I'm going to show you how to create a project in the uh, portal. Uh, but uh, we will be creating a project, very important and very interesting project. It's talking about uh, three pumps working in sequence, but uh, they have uh, feedback coming from overload and every one of them got stopped for any reason. Everyone is out of order, the other pumps continue operating. If two of them are out of order, one single pump continue working. And we are going to make the project together. It's not easy, but it can be done. Let's go. I used to man organization, I used to man organization work. Now, we start by creating a counter. Why counter? Because while working on this project, we need to switch from pump to another. And always we will be switching from pump to another. And this is time consuming operation. This is why we create a counter and on this counter and the counter will be counting automatically. Let me call it uh, rotator. rotator. Because it's gonna rotate the pumps. Whatever. And here uh, I want the count value to be appearing here. Okay, count value. And here I want it to reset every time the count value is reached. Q. It's okay. I put here three. So what I did here, I made a counter. It's counting from three to one because it's counting down. When it's uh, when it's zero, it's going to start over. In fact, in fact, we are not going to see zero here because zero is the reset here. Now, uh, the count value will appear here, and whenever the count value is reached, or, uh, the queue is going to reset the counter. I'm going to use memory clock. This memory clock is M0.5. It's coming up every second. It exists in almost every Siemens PLC. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna load it into simulator. Let's see what I got. Okay. Everything is okay. My counter is working. Three, two, one, three, two, one. This is what I want. I want nothing else. Now, the value appearing here will be replaced as soon as we finish the project will be replaced by a hour meter that counts the hour of every pump and shift the pumps according to the minimum hours if pump number one has the minimum hours the rotator is going to use number number one and so on let me show you how the pump are rotating according to this value Let's go. Uh, I'll use uh, comparator. Network number two. Uh, and the count value coming here. Then here is one. Let me create a tag here. M hundred dot one. I just call it. I just. Choose it. You can you can just use any any, any value. Rename tag uh, P1 and so on for the other remaining two pumps. Here I'm gonna put two and here M hundred two and I call it. Rename P2. Do it again. Here is 3, and here is M100.3. Then I call it P3. P3. Let me see what I got. Ok, 
Okay, my rotator is working. The value of my rotator is coming here and it's making this pump active anytime it matches the value on top. Let me see. If it's one, this works. If it's two, pump two works. If it's three, pump three works. Perfect. This is what I want. So now I have three pumps working in sequence. Bam! If any of the pumps stop for any reason, the PLC continue making the pump work here, continue giving the order. And this is not convenable for me. I want to change it and I want to make the PLC to stop using the non-working and, non and malfunction pump and continue using the other pump. And this is what we are going to do. So I stop for now and continue later. Thanks for your attention. George Albut has been explaining TIA with three pump working in sequence. Thanks.